led by the Spirit, today you may be fighting the temptation of drugs or alcohol or sex or pornography or, you know, struggles in your marriage or relationships with your children. And I'm going to tell you guys, Satan will use all of his full arsenal on you to convince you uh, to, to continue to struggle with those things. So if you're a Christian, I'm going to ask you a profound question today. Why not use the full arsenal of the true and God to help you fight those things? And the book of Matthew uh, gives us a, a shows us an incredible, incredible story uh, of, of how uh, God deals with the devil. And it's in our scripture today is going to be in Matthew chapter four, verses one. Now, I would encourage you to read this whole story. This is one of my favorite stories in the Bible. And it's right before Jesus began his ministry on earth. And, you know, he was led, and you're going to see this as I read God's word. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Now, I want you to think about this for a second, folks. The Holy Spirit of God, okay, led Jesus to go uh, be tempted by the devil. Now, let's just think about this for a second. One of the many missions of the Holy Spirit is to guard and protect our souls. And a lot of times we, uh, to protect us from ourselves, and a lot of times we don't realize that, guys. And many times uh, protecting us against ourselves is one of the things that, um, uh, that gets us in trouble most of the time. So, yeah, so we won't fall for Satan's attacks, and we must recognize as Christians that we are always going to be tempted, and we're always going to be under attack from Satan. And and when we stray from God, and we stray from his word, and we stray, we lose, and we've talked about this before, we lose that power. And so Satan tries to capitalize on our sin, and he attacks us. The devil will use every technique he can to tempt us to falling for his trap. You know how he does. He'll whisper things in your ears, tell you you're not worthy, tell you that your God is weak. He will tell you and convince you that that drink is going to taste so good. He will convince you that that pornography is going to lead you to a really happy and healthy life, which it does not. Jesus on this earth and what it shows, he shows us the ability to fight Satan. Just because we're tempted does not mean we need to fall for that temptation. Now, we will always have sin in our lives, folks. There's no getting around that. We are mere humans. We fall short. Uh, we, are, we are imperfect of the glory of God. But the implications that Jesus, being led by the Spirit, are getting to the heart of this text. And here's what I want you to understand. This passage is a giant sermon in itself, and we can learn many lessons from it. But here's what I want you to take away. Use the full power of the true and God every day of your life, and you're going to win. What's so amazing about this is the same Holy Spirit, okay, uh, that led Jesus, that is leading you, that resides in you, is the same Holy Spirit that, yeah, got Mary pregnant, the same Holy Spirit that resurrected Jesus from the dead, the same Holy Spirit that's going to resurrect you and, and take you into the kingdom of God. You know, um, that's the same Holy Spirit also that, that, that had P Peter preach a, uh, the preach a sermon at Solomon's colonnade when 3,000 souls accepted Jesus as their Lord. You see, the day that we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit of God comes upon us. The Holy Spirit was really, in reality, leading Jesus to be tempted by the Satan. Okay, but here's what I want you to understand. Here's what I want you to let sink in. God predetermined this fight, and he knew Jesus was going to win. God the Father's role in the Trinity is awesome, but many times we discount what the role of the Holy Spirit is. And this is especially true in Jesus' time on earth. While the Holy Spirit did not live in Christians' in like he lives in us in the day. He did not come to live with Christians until after Pentecost, but there were times 
uh, in the Old Testament in times in Jesus' ministry when the Holy, the Holy Spirit was always with Jesus, but there were times when his presence would, would come on earth and be displayed, and it played a significant, significant role in Jesus' ministry. And Jesus knew how to leverage that power of the Holy Spirit, especially when he's with Satan. This whole idea of the wilderness campaign provides the disciples of Jesus a magnificent template First, you see Jesus is leveraging every bit of God's power as the Spirit was leading him. And what many people don't understand in the reality, folks, Satan was not picking a fight with Jesus. Jesus and the true and God was picking a fight with, with Satan. As Mel Gibson would say in the movie Braveheart, and that's a great movie, by the way, let's go peck a fight. Yes, indeed. Let's go pick a fight because you can, because you have the power of God. You have the power of the Holy Spirit. Knowing this truth should give you those incredible courage to overcome your addictions, whether it, whatever that may be. It begs the question, does Satan's disciples have the Holy Spirit? What not you think about that? Does his demons have the Holy Spirit? Okay. Now you, you get many times we get we get discouraged in this life and we 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 question our abilities. Yes, you should question your abilities, but don't question God's because here's the thing. Satan's demons do not have the Holy Spirit. So why are we being led or scared of those who do not have the Holy Spirit? That's the question. The Spirit of God guides us. As believers in understanding this awesome power, it's gonna give you the tools necessary to live a God-honoring life and expand God's kingdom. With the Bible as our roadmap and all of our eyes on Jesus, you through, the Holy, you, through the power of the Holy Spirit, yes, will be unstoppable. And that, my brothers and sisters in Christ, is a bold word from the bold book. God bless you, friends, and go bold.